Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Drew. This is Just a Guy Linux, and this is the uh, second and probably last video that I'll do on Budgie. Um, I just wanted to kind of show where I am as far as uh, this is what my laptop will will look like in about uh, 15 minutes after I stop this video. So I'm going to uh, do some changes, and I thought you might be interested. If not, that's cool too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, actually wrong one, so I'm going to go to this uh, two settings. So I'm going to add a picture and I'm going to add this picture and there you go. Okay, and then let me go ahead and I think I have icons. So I'm going to use this fluent gray dark and that looks nice. I'm going to uh, move this to built-in theme and turn that off. And then as far as the bottom panel, I'm going to move the clock um, up to the center. Okay. And I'm going to add a couple more things. Uh, I think I'm going to need to change the style. There's nothing here as far as widgets are concerned. So let me get one. I remember uh downloading one and it's this one this colloid this is one of my favorites i'm going to actually let me do this while i'm right here i'm going to put a star or a favorite on this so that it stays there okay and i'm going to um, open up tilix okay and i'm going to star that Oop. And right click and then star as a favorite. Is that, did that do it? Do it? Okay. And then I'm going to uh, CD downloads and colloid. And I think it is. Let's see. Um, I want the gray theme. So it's going to be dot install dash t gray um, the color variant is dark so c dark and then dash dash tweaks and then the nord and so i need that okay that's that's all i need and so now that I'm turning these off, these are staying in this position here. So that's good. Okay. And then I want to reopen this and pick colloid dark. And there you go. Okay. Okay. I also uh, added the um, DMZ cursor theme. So I'm going to choose white here, DMZ white. And I'm going to go down to the bottom panel, okay? And I'm going to add a few things and reconfigure this just a bit. So I'm going to add a panel, and I want to have my uh, workspace switcher and add that. And I'm going to just move it down one. And you can see that it's here, but I'm going to make it um, smaller. So I'm going to make it all the way down to this, this size. And this plus here allows you to uh, add another um, add another workspace if you care to do so. All right, I'm going to add another um, applet, and let's. I'm going to make a separator. Put that there, and I'm going to move that down. And I'm going to add one more thing, uh, and it's going to be like a power button. So. so and that's called a user indicator. And add that. And let's move that down here. So I've got everything that I need for the most part, including uh, the uh, Raven trigger, which is pretty cool. So that's good. Frankly, I don't need to do a whole lot more, except I am going to do some, um, some key bindings. Um, so I'm going to go down to keyboard and view custom. Let's go right to the, to the custom and then let's add one. Okay. 
the very first thing that I use is basically a terminal and then the, the command is going to be Tilex and I'm going to set the shortcut at um, super enter okay and add and now when I go super enter it pops up my Tilex perfect okay now let's go back and let's go down one to launchers and since we don't have a home folder I would assume that that's going to be um, Thunar so I'm just gonna hit which my normal um, my normal shortcut is a uh, super F and let's set and let's see super F and there you go there's my Thunar nice okay what else I got uh, launch browser so to me that's super B let's set that and so super B and there you go Firefox um, and I, that's good for right now and then so let's go back over to um, let's look for close so uh, close window yeah so it's alt F4 and I want uh, super Q okay let's set that so now if I let me go and then go back so now if I hit super enter super enter I can go super Q super Q nice that's exactly what I want okay let's let's keep on this theme with Windows and Actually, it's not Windows, is it? Let me. Okay, but we're gonna get to Windows, but I think it's navigation. Yeah, navigation. Here we go. Okay, so move to super. Move to uh, workspace one. So I want to uh, super shift one. It's when I want to move something to workspace one. I want to super shift two to move something to workspace two and super shift three three and super shift four uh, for four and then how do I um, I think it's at the bottom yes just switch okay so here I go I want to super one and then oop, that was super three wasn't it that was three yeah I just skipped one. Okay, so super two, set, and super four. There you go. Okay, so now if I want to send this all the way, so I say super shift three, and you can see down here it's in the third workspace. So if I just click on that, it'll go there. Or if I just, I'm a, if I hit super one and then super three, and then super shift one, it goes back, and then super one again, it goes to super to the first workspace. I said that really fast, and it probably made no sense at all. But if you are a uh, if you are a key bindings type person, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. All right, let's see what else is here. Uh, switch application super tab. That sounds reasonable. So like if I have this open and this open a bunch of stuff so if I hit super tab and I hold the super key down and I just cycle through the tab key okay then that, that makes sense that's pretty good okay yeah that that works let me go ahead and close these back again and Let's move on. We might want to come back to Let's look at the windows real quick. We've already got our super queue. Um, some of these we might want to change. I'm looking for, oh, view split left. So, okay, this is where, this is, again, a personal preference. So when I like to put something in the left, so basically let me open up something just so I can demonstrate. All right. Now I'm gonna put use super left to use their key bindings, and it's gonna basically fill the you know 50% real estate on the screen. If I go super right, 
and left, you can switch. I don't know that I my muscle memory will do that because for me, super left and super right are changing focus of one window to another. So I might, yeah, what I'm going to do, again, this is personal preference. I'm going to say super shift left replace, and then I'm going to say super shift right. This, this is, again, I don't know that this makes sense for anybody but me, but I when I do a super right and left, it's, it's to change focus. Um, so is there like a change focus thing on here? Probably not. I know there was that one way to cycle through things, so like super tab, like this. So that's all I need, I guess. All right. All right, you get the idea. I think we're almost done here. So uh, let me think. Screenshots might be interesting. Okay, so because I've heard, and this is something that I've heard, um, they didn't have a good screenshot uh, application for Budgie, maybe until now. So as far as this is concerned, I am not, I don't like these, um, these key bindings, but I understand them. So let's just roll with what they have just to see. So if I hit uh, print, yeah, that's fine. So control, print, I can go like that. Sure. Yeah, that works. Okay, so that's that's good information. Um, anyway, so I guess what we're doing is we're just kind of testing everything. We hit, you know, we hit two terminals open and hit Control Q. Uh, we hit um, oh, if you hit the super key, by the way, the uh, uh, the application menu shows up. If you do super B. Um, Firefox launches, super shift right to tile it, and then super F for Thunar, and now super shift left so that we use all of our real estate. And then let's say we want to move uh, Thunar over to workspace two. That would be super shift two. And now we're going to go to super two. And I think it's. Um, Super up arrow, yeah, super up arrow to maximize, okay, and then super down to uh, to go back down, because super up and super down, there you go. And then let's go back over to workspace one by typing super one. Nice animations. Um, and then super Q to close. This is, this is good stuff. I mean, I, I can use this. Um, so I hope that is any of you that uh, are looking for a desktop environment, uh, give this a shot. I, I know for a fact that this is far and away superior, superior to the um, to the 10.5 version that is in the Debian stable repo right now. So let me just just to clarify that. Let's go to um, Budgie Debian and we're gonna go here and you can see um, the version numbers version numbers yeah 10 point there we go 10.5 dash 1 bookworm is 10 point seven point one which is what this is and we're actually we're taking it from Sid it's the same as what's on the uh, Debian testing repo, uh, but um, but this is superior by by a long shot. So, all right, take care. Have a good weekend. Bye.